domestic tensions between India and Pakistan are on the rise once again. A day after BCCI Secretary Jai Shah said India will not go to Pakistan for the 2023 Asia Cup, Pakistan hit back by saying they will not come to India for the World Cup next year. All of this is against the backdrop of the big match between the two countries that will be played this weekend in Melbourne at the World T20. Roger Binney, the new head of the Indian Cricket Board, is the one who is now having to clear the air regarding the current situation. And he is my special guest tonight, someone who has just replaced Saurav Ganguly as the BCCI president. 83 World Cup winner. Roger Binney, appreciate your joining us there from Bengaluru. First of all, many, many congrats, sir, on becoming the new BCCI president. You become BCCI president and a controversy has erupted. BCCI Secretary Jai Shah going on record saying India will not go to Pakistan to play the Asia Cup next year. Is that the official position we take it off the board that you will not play in Pakistan? Well, uh, Rajiv, you know, it, it, it is not uh, the BCCI's call really. We can't take any decision. You know, it has to be the government clearances. So, so as the BCCI, we have no say in the matter. We just go, we just go with what the government tells us what to do. So it's, it's sad, but what, what can be done? But you know, sir, Pakistan has now hit back and says it won't come to India next year for the World Cup. Should the two boards have got together and found some solution? Are you saying there is nothing that you can do about the situation it's, and it's only for the governments to sort out the BCCI is powerless? Well, it, again, if, if they are, I think if the governments are happy with it, they, they can play. But if the governments are not happy, then, then we, can't, we can't take a chance. I mean, always in India-Pakistan match, I mean, the whole country sits up and watches, you know. So, but it's sad that, we, that it's not being done, but uh, we can't help it. I mean, the BCCI has, has absolutely no, no say in this matter. You know, sir, when you say the BCCI has no say in this matter, aren't you effectively therefore saying, you know, the, you're passing the buck to the government instead of expressing your own personal view or the view of the board. What is the view of the board? Yeah, that, that's how it's always been over the, uh, over the years. That's how it's always been. So we have to just follow, follow what's happened in the past, Rajiv. But, but may I ask you, uh, Mr. Bini, when you were playing for India, uh, you were able to travel to Pakistan. Of course, relations were better between the two countries in that period in the early 80s. Uh, and the teams in particular seem now, even now, to get along rather well. The players don't seem to be affected. Would you agree by all the noise around them? Well, uh, but always the players have players are very friendly. I mean, when we play too, we always had great, uh, great company with the Pakistani players. The players, players are very, very friendly. And, but, but anyway, it's sad that it, nothing can, nothing can go beyond that. You know, but will at at one level will this spat between the two boards affect the players in any way ahead of the big match on Sunday? Will it add to the pressure in some way, Mr. Bini, that the players already are under? I, I, don't, I don't think it's affected, uh, though it's affected the, the uh, public, but I don't think it's affected the cricketers. I mean, the, these things will, will be spoken, but uh, you know, it's, 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 uh, you can't blame the cricketers for it. You can't blame the BCC. You know, so so it, it's just something which you have to just take in a stride. But you know, I, I must ask this, rather than make public statements as Jai Shah did, could this not have waited a while to try and find a way out? Maybe look to play perhaps at more neutral venues between India and Pakistan and and, and try and do this in a, in a less tutu me me public manner? Well, no, see, these, these, in the past, in the past uh, uh, things like this, when India were to host the last Asia Cup, the one before this, we didn't do it. We gave it to the uh, UAE to do. So because, because of the, uh, the Pakistan team couldn't come in over here. So, so we did, probably it's the same thing. We, we can't change things overnight. It'll have to, it'll have to take some more time. And when, and when the time is right, then we'll, we'll start playing Pakistan again. But, you know, let me for a moment, therefore, look, at, look ahead to the game that's taking place on Sunday, the big India-Pakistan game that everyone is looking forward to. When we last played them last year in Dubai at the T20 World Cup, we were badly beaten. This time on Australian soil, are we the favourites? Is it advantage India? Well, I, I tell you, see, if India, India don't have the underdog, underdog tag anymore. You know, it, now, now they're all favourites. So every game they go into, they are, they are favourites. And, and I, I think a T20 game is how you play that moment. You know, they, but here the, I don't think the toss will play that big a part like what it did in, in Dubai and the, in the previous uh, T20 matches. So this is definitely going to be a, uh, a game where you know, the, the pitches are going to be good 
and 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 I think it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game to watch, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what about though the pressure? Is that going to be the key factor in a game against Pakistan? Who handles all this external noise that's going on around us, the hype around the game? I don't. The players, the players didn't really. You know, once we got on the field, there was absolutely no pressures at all. You know, we just played like another match. Okay, there was. We played a little, little more intensity, but uh, but I, I don't think you know the the players uh, players really will will miss out uh, on this. I mean. They, they are basically following what, what the, uh, the, the orders are. Are, are you telling me that India versus Pakistan isn't, uh, Mr. Bini, about who handles pressure best? Well, I, I know, I mean, the pressure's, pressure's built up outside the team, I think. You know, it's not really, the team really does, doesn't suffer from that. You know, they, they, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of hype. The, I, I think it's the public that builds up this pressure, you know. They have, because they, have, they are more tense than the players. From, from the, if you see from the outside, you know. So it, I, I think it's all, it's all, it's all very well for the for the, uh, for the public to, you know, to get get behind the players and and uh, you know be, try and try and get them to to do well. Do you have a favourite India-Pakistan cricket moment from your uh, distinguished career, uh, Roger Bini? Well, I think uh, surely for surely it has to be the Bombay Test match when uh, India beat uh, Pakistan in, in Mumbai. And uh, and we and this is the first time I met uh, the great uh, singer Lata Mangeshkar, which I was uh, I was very happy and, uh, and those memories still linger with me. Because that that was, that was one of our best uh, test matches that we played. You know, I I remember you getting uh, Saeed Abbas clean ball. That was 1979 in that test match in Mumbai that you just spoke about. But let me turn back to the present. The pressure you now face as BCCI president taking over from Saurabh Ganguly. Is this going to be a very different kind of challenge, especially some would say to handle the board's politics? Well, it, it's also, you put it this way, you know, I, I played the game, I know exactly what's required. I mean, I, I've, I've traveled through India, I've traveled through all the facilities, through the infrastructure, to seeing, seeing the players. I've, I've, seen, I've seen cricket over the last uh, 30, 40 years, you know, the, the way it's changed. So, but it, it's basically it's no it's not really pressure, but it's something which I which I'm looking forward to doing and working with. But what are your top three priorities, uh, Roger Bini, as BCCI president? If I were to ask you to, to list them out today. Well, the number one definitely would be injury to injuries of players to see how we can we can uh, slow that down, try and try and uh, see where where can we we step in and try and. Uh, you know, make the players more comfortable and uh, not get injured so easily and so quickly. That would be the priority for us. Second, I think, would be for the wickets. Our wickets are too, too docile, they're too batsman oriented. They need to be 50-50. Uh, you know, the batsman and the bowler should have an equal uh, opportunity. Because when we go abroad, things will, things will change. You know, we'll, we'll be able to settle down and, uh, and adapt to the wickets much quicker than we normally do. Otherwise, it's good. it takes us weeks to get to, get to, the, uh, get to the venue and then, then get used to pitches. By the time we have passed the first, patch, first test match or the second test match. So I think that is important. We're going to look at that. And then we're going to also, also look at the, uh, the, uh, the uh, players, the, uh, the, not the Ranji Trophy players, but the players uh, before that, those who didn't make it up to the, uh, to the state teams and to the national teams. Some of them are not in a very good position. So that they can, or for a person who plays, who's played one Ranji Trophy match, two Ranji Trophy matches, he should be getting something to take care of himself. You know, probably his medication can be taken care of. Something, something which can help the family. So we also, we also looking at that. You know, I'm, I'm glad you're putting these priorities that put players first. You've also been, uh, Mr. Bini, part of a major tournament win in Australia in 1985. What do you think is the key to winning this T20 World Cup in Australia? What will make the difference? I, I think at the end of the day it's got to be the bowlers. You see, the, 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 the faster bowlers are the ones that are going to do that. And, and I, I, I think, you know, it, it's, not, it's not going to be easy like uh, you, the way you bat in, uh, in the subcontinent. Because, uh, like I said, there will be something for the bowlers too in it. I think if someone, if someone some, uh, the fast bowlers who can control the 14th to the 20th over, they're, the, they're going to be the winners. That's where most of the runs are leaked in all the matches. Interesting. Uh, in conclusion, 
I know you love your golf, you love your fishing. How are you going to fit all that in with being a BCCI president at the moment? No, uh, there, there are golf courses in Mumbai, there are golf courses in Delhi, there are golf courses in Ahmedabad. So I, I'll, I will carry my golf set along with me and play. Maybe fishing may take a background. I, I will get some opportunities somewhere. I'm sure you will. Uh, let me ask you in conclusion, a message for cricket fans like me. How are you going to be different from past BCCI presidents? What is the Bini model going to be? Well, I, I would like to tell him that I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be the, uh, the president of the BCCI. Never in my dreams that I would thought I would reach the stage. I dreamt, I dreamt only cricket when I was playing. I dreamt I would play. For, uh, I was, I had to play for India. That was my main dream. So I, I'm very happy and thrilled, and I look forward to serving cricket in a big way. You know, I, I look forward to, of course, uh, having more conversations with you on the game. Roger Binney, you've been a, a, a great figure of Indian cricket, particularly that 83 World Cup victory, highest wicket taker. Appreciate your joining us and all the very best in your new challenge. Thanks very much for joining me.